Hey there, welcome to Papercraft Panda. My name is Misty, I'm a bookbinder, and I work to keep the art of bookbinding alive by teaching people just like you through my website and blog how to create your own books at home. In the process of educating everyone on bookbinding, I get a lot of questions, and one of the biggest questions I receive is, which is better, Davy board or chipboard? If you're here watching this right now, you might be newer to bookbinding looking to make your first book. You do a quick search on the internet, and you see terms like Davy board, binders board, and chipboard. So what's the difference and which one should I buy? Binders board and chipboard are essentially the same thing. When you go to a retailer and they call it binders board, most of the time they're gonna sell you chipboard. The reason for this has a little bit to do with sales, but a lot to do with the fact that if you're new, you're gonna recognize the phrase binders board and you're gonna think, yes, that's what I need. And so they're definitely capitalizing on that phrase by using it to sell their board. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing because chipboard can be used to make book covers. So what's the difference between these two types of boards? The difference really lies in the manufacturing process. We'll start with Davy board. Davy board is produced using wood pulp. It's put through a process called single ply wet lap construction. This process creates a strong homogeneous board. It maintains flexibility, but it has high corner crush resistance. Because it's a single process, it has a smooth surface and it's not held together with any glue or chemical. That means that Davy board is archival quality or pH neutral, acid free. Anything that's archival quality or acid free is intended to last. The goal for archival quality anything is 100 plus years, which means when you're using Davy board, you're creating a book that is going to last a long time. Now let's look at chipboard. Chipboard is manufactured using waste wood. Waste wood is what's left over after wood pulp has been used. Layers of waste wood are pressed and held together by glue or formaldehyde. These chemicals mean that chipboard is not guaranteed to be acid free or pH neutral, which means it's not intended to last. That said, some chipboard is pH neutral. So just be sure to check the package before you buy so you know exactly what you're getting. Because of the multi-layer construction that chipboard receives during its manufacturing process, it is also weaker in comparison to Davy board. So there's very little corner crush resistance and the surface of the product could be smooth, rough, or just have some type of texture. You wouldn't really know unless you're there buying it in person or when it gets to your house after you've ordered it. Chipboard is also low density which means shouldn't be used on books that are large, for example. Anything A5 or smaller would work though. Now let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of both of these types of board. We're gonna start with Davy board. Some of the advantages of Davy board we've already spoke about, but I'll list them again. It's high density, flexible. It has strong corner crush resistance. It has superior dimensional stability and it's pH neutral or acid free. Because of the way that it's manufactured, it also has a smooth surface. Chipboard is less expensive. It comes in smaller sheet sizes, so it's more accessible to hobbyist bookbinders. And it's also easier to cut because it's less dense. So you can cut it at home in your own bindery using an offal knife or even a heavy duty paper cutter. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages, starting with Davy Board. Davy Board is more expensive overall. It's also only available in large sheet sizes. So if you don't have a board cutter at home, you usually have to order them to be cut, which costs a small fee. Finally, Davy board is extremely dense. So even if you've got a smaller sheet size at home, it's still hard for you to cut without throwing your wrist out. Overall, chipboard is weaker. It's not structurally supportive, which means that it cannot be used on larger books. It's also not acid free. So it's not guaranteed to last a long time. While these are disadvantages, for some people, they might actually be advantages. So let's sum it up. Davy board is an archival quality, strong board that's intended to last. It's perfect for heirloom projects, restoration, conservation activities, books that you want to last a really long time. Chipboard, on the other hand, is affordable, available in smaller sheet sizes, so it's easier for hobbyists to get their hands on some of this to make new books. While they're not guaranteed archival quality, they're really good for short-lived or short-term projects, like kids' activities, holiday activities, things like that. Okay, so by now you probably know how to select Davy board or chipboard for your next project. Just remember, what kind of book are you making and how long do you want it to last? Once you answer those two questions, it becomes pretty clear which board you need to buy for your next project. Now, I've left some links below to the boards that I personally buy. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. They're completely my opinion. 
If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you found any of this video insightful or helpful, I would love a like and a subscribe. It tells Google that my stuff is worth sharing and I really appreciate it. Okay, until the next video, thank you so much for watching and take care.